start my day off really early. I usually wake up around 5 a.m. and one of the first things I like to do is make my bed. I feel like if I just do this immediately after getting up, it's one less thing to do later in the day and I feel like I've already accomplished a lot and saved a lot of time. I also really, really like when my home smells really good. So I go ahead and set my diffuser before I leave for the gym. The scents I love right now are eucalyptus and bergamot. I also like to add this hydrator to my water. It just makes it taste a little bit better and it's zero calories. So I've been going to the gym early in the morning since I moved home, well, home to San Diego from New York. So this started in about 2018. Um, I just found that if I do not prioritize my fitness, that I essentially won't get to it. After the gym, I take Maverick on a walk and sometimes this can be up to a mile and a half just depending on my schedule. I then love to make coffee after my walk and I add collagen peptides to it. And on days when I'm super tired, I will throw a little espresso into my coffee just to boost my energy. And while my coffee's brewing, I prepare Maverick's food and I add a little bit of her joint supplement to her breakfast. Once I've worked out and taken care of the dog, I then hop in the shower and do my skincare routine. Yes, that is me applying serum with a face roller. I feel like it does a really good job of spreading serum around. And one of my new favorite hair tools that I really like is this shark. Flex style air dryer. It's similar to the Dyson Air Wrap, but I think $200 less, and it heats up even better than the Dyson Air Wrap. I then get around to applying my makeup for the day. Um, on the days that I don't go into the office, I typically choose not to wear makeup. It just depends on what types of meetings I have, but um, when I go into the office, I do like putting on a little bit of makeup. I just think it's a good way to take care of yourself and show people at work um, that you've put effort into your appearance. And now starts my commute to the office. So I live in a place where it takes, it can take me anywhere from 15 to 40 minutes to get to work. Seattle's so pretty in the summer. I just love driving to work and getting out and seeing how pretty the city is. I do drive to work and a big reason for that is because using public transportation is not the safest method for transporting yourself to work so I choose to drive and pay for parking. You guys, how gorgeous is this view? It never gets old. So while I'm getting set up in my cubicle, let me tell you guys a little bit about what I do. Like I've mentioned previously, I work in finance in specifically wealth management. And the department I work for is trusts, also known as trust funds. One of the first things I like to do when I get to the office is fill my water cup up with some sparkling water to stay hydrated. And then 
I get to work just checking emails, prioritizing what needs to be taken care of first, checking my to-do list. The list is usually very, very long. And then I have breakfast at work. I heat up some egg frittatas from Trader Joe's. I grab a snack that the office provides. And then sometimes I include some vegetables to go with my egg frittatas. And I am so bad at this, but I always eat and work at the same time. I just feel like I never have time to really take a break. I also take my vitamins in the morning, making sure that I stay as healthy as I can. So my work days vary greatly. There are days when I am back to back in meetings like this. And there are days when I have very few meetings and can get a lot of projects, tasks, and other work responsibilities done. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like most of my heavy meeting days tend to happen Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And here's me taking more meetings, this time at my desk. Depending on the content of the meeting and how sensitive it can be, I'll sometimes hop into a private office or I'll take meetings at my desk. Well, we made it to the end of my work day, but my day's not quite over. On this day, I had to go pick up a few items from Nordstrom's and this is me running that errand before I go home. It's the end of my work day and I'm picking up a Nordstrom's order because I have a few events that I'm going to, a couple more weddings before mine. And um, I love Nordstrom's not only for their items, but because usually picking up orders is super easy. And um, I really love the fact that I can basically shop their whole inventory online and then it gets sent to the store or it could get shipped to me. Um, since I live in Seattle and because crime is just everywhere, I elect to pick up my stuff in the store. And since I work downtown, I figure why not pick it up at the downtown Seattle um, store? The only thing is it takes so long <laughs> to get your order. Um, so while I think it's convenient, I don't know. Um, it takes forever. So here I am waiting for my Nordstrom's order. Um, before I go home. Just for context, the downtown Seattle curbside pickup is not in a parking lot like, you know, most shopping malls. It is in downtown Seattle, which means you're pulling over on a main avenue to pick up your stuff. So it's a little crazy parking here. Um, cause you're basically blocking, almost blocking a lane of traffic. Well, I will say of any time to wait, I guess today is not a bad one because in case you can't tell, Seattle is beautiful today. I've got the um, sunroof semi open. Well, at least I have the shade back, but I do have the sunroof slightly cracked. Oh, I think this is it. I think it's coming. Hello. Is that for Clarice done? Um, I'm going to pop the trunk and you just throw it in there. Thank you so much. So I moved to Seattle towards the end of the pandemic. Here we go. Okay. Right. So I moved to Seattle towards the end of the pandemic. And when I used to come downtown for work, it was pretty empty. Um, and now I feel like what it's back in full swing. It's July, 2023. And I mean, there's people walking everywhere and traffic's crazy. Um, it's something I didn't experience before when I first moved out here. And now, I'm assuming this is probably what it was like pre-pandemic, except less crime probably pre-pandemic. Um, I'm surprised. <laughs> I will include it in this video if we hear a homeless person ranting and yelling because that is a normal thing here in downtown Seattle. It's actually a normal thing and I feel like almost everywhere in Seattle. Um, Wyatt and I decided that if we are going to end up having to stay in Seattle, that we would move out to probably one of the suburbs. Um, you know, we're looking at raising a family right now and um, we just don't think that being in an urban area is the best decision for raising kids. We will see how this goes. But 
I got myself from Nordstrom's. I'm driving home now. I'm about to hang out with Wyatt, relax for a bit. If he's still in class, I will probably work on some wedding stuff. So I typically go to the office on Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays are my dedicated days to do office coverage. And um, Friday is my like secondary day because our office has decided to make going into the office mandatory for two days out of the week. So yeah, I, my mandatory is um, Wednesday and then my secondary is Friday. Um, Wyatt has class on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So on Wednesdays, I usually get home while he's in the middle of class, but I might get home right as he's ending today. So Wyatt is in an MBA program with UNC Chapel Hill. He initially decided um, that he would um, take like a desk job out of the Navy. Um, that's originally what he wanted to pursue, um, but that might change due to the shortage of pilots with commercial airlines. He's looking at becoming a commercial airline pilot right now. Well, we made it. This is the end of my day and here's Maverick greeting me. That wraps up a day in the office for me. I am so glad I got to take you guys along for what a day in the life is like for a corporate finance girl working in Seattle. Um, do me a favor guys, hit that like button. Um, it helps me know what content to put out there for you guys to watch. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel. More subscriptions mean more videos. If you have any questions about my life, about my job, you wanna just get to know me more, leave me a comment or you can follow me on Instagram. My handle's on the screen. I really had so much fun bringing you along for a day in life and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.